for me, when you have humility, you are a learner and you build great teams and you don't think every idea has to start with you. Hello, and welcome to On Purpose. Today, I'm joined by the CEO of Accenture, Julie Sweet. Julie, welcome. Thanks, Kristen, for having me today. What incited you to move from being a partner at a law firm to corporate America? You know, I still remember getting the phone call when a recruiter started talking to me, and I've been a partner for about 10 years, and uh, create, talked about this great opportunity to go to Accenture. And then I met the, uh, the CEO, Bill Green. He was amazing, and he said to me, I'm not looking for a lawyer, I'm looking for a business leader with legal experience. And that really grabbed me because it was just an opportunity to be something different and more. And uh, and I you know, took that opportunity and I never looked back. One of the spaces I, I think has been really exciting was the research you've been doing on it's not the spaces and the places, but the connectivity. So talk to me about what that means to you. We were actually pre-pandemic, probably the largest um, company in the world with a really remote workforce. So we had people going into the office, but working in global teams. So in many ways, you would have thought the pandemic would have been super easy for us because, for example, my leadership team has been global. We don't have a headquarters. We don't talk about places and spaces. When we think about bringing people in, we think about how do we earn their commute? Why are they in the office? And so at the center of our, when we think about employees, we start with the philosophy is, are people net better off because they work at Accenture? And that means, do they have financial security? Do they have professional opportunities? Do they have emotional well-being? Do they have health? Are they, um, do we have a purpose? And do they feel those things? And if you start with that, then you go to, okay, so how do you build those connections? How do you provide those things? And so you've got to have all the right programs and benefits, but fundamentally it is about connections. Well, the other thing, you, you coined a new phrase, or at least it was new to me, the fidgetal. You've been really innovating how to connect new colleagues, because I think you've hired, I, I want to say, I think the number was 200,000, something, something crazy, colleagues since the beginning of 2020 and the pandemic. Talk to me about how you're leveraging technology and digital to create this new fidgetal universe. So there's two really important things we did. First is we did think about fidgetal. And so at the beginning of the pandemic, people were getting shipped at a laptop and they were literally closing the laptop from one company and opening the next. There was no connection physically because we couldn't have one. And so we now send in a recyclable box to every new hire, a box that has that computer. And it also has physical things like our um, core values that you would normally see in a poster when you went into the office, like swag, so that when you're opening that computer, you literally are physically changing your space and building that connection. And then the other thing we did to leverage technology is we actually have the largest metaverse in the enterprise that we're aware of. We'll have about 150,000 people go through one Accenture Park, which is a metaverse that has everything from exploring the technology training that you get when you come to Accenture to visiting one of our 100 innovation hubs around the world all in the metaverse with other colleagues and so you aren't able to have that you know in person uh, experience but you can have this incredible experience in the metaverse that also is great to talk about and you know kind of build those connections the mere fact that you created this metaverse um, one of the largest is a demonstration of the important role in leaders in learning so talk to me a little bit what that means to you and, and how you've thought about that and implementing that not just at Accenture but you know through all the other uh, initiatives you're a part of for me, when you have humility, you are a learner and you build great teams and you don't think every idea has to start with you. And that philosophy is really core to, I think, Accenture's success and why we invest so much in learning. We spend a billion dollars a year on training and development. And we believe that being a learner is the most important skill. So when we interview, we ask a really simple question. We say, what have you learned in the last six months? Now that could literally be, I learned how to cook paella, right? The point is we're looking for people who can actually answer that question because learning agility 
is critical. And we see that in the pace of change. And even if you think about what happened to during the pandemic with so many people having to learn digital skills really quickly, and we see that in an ongoing way. Uh, and so we think it's important to continue to navigate in the market. And it's also the way to move faster uh, and, um, you know, and, and drive transformation, which is a big part of what many companies, including Zoetis, is doing today. Look, I want to thank you for joining me today, Julie, and I'll really just thank you for being the role model that you are for business leaders um, across the globe. Um, and thank you for joining us for On Purpose. I hope to see you next month.